Welcome to News Today with WDW News Today. I'm Eric Morton, filling in for Tom Corliss, who is, uh, as you know, at Disneyland Paris for their reopening. And here now is the news for June 21st, 2021. Following last week's reopening of Disneyland Paris, Disney's Hotel New York, The Art of Marvel, has now reopened its doors for guests. Previously known as simply as Disney's Hotel New York, uh, the hotel has been rethemed to incorporate and celebrate the art of Marvel comics and films. Join us on a video tour of a rethemed room in the upgraded hotel here on our YouTube channel or check out our photo tour on WDWNT.com. Last week, a strong storm dumped rain on the recently reopened Disneyland Paris. The heavy rains caused flooding in areas of the resort. Uh, the storm brought thunder and lightning to Disneyland Paris. The weather closed nearly every attraction ahead of the park's 8 p.m. close. Uh, in addition to attraction closures, the storm, uh, the storm caused uh, the paths to flood. The heavy runoff caused this path near the Adventureland entrance to flood. Sand washed from the hills. Once the flooding receded, the sand uh, was still remaining and had to be uh, cleaned up by crews there. The road to the parking area was also flooded. What started as a steady rain became a flooding downpour. You can also watch the heaviest rain roll in during our live stream from the park here on YouTube. Uh, we had that up a, a couple of days ago. Check that out. Also, we are streaming throughout the week from Disneyland Paris, live with Tom Corliss. Uh, in fact, he is live right now as we record this. And with that reopening of Disneyland Paris, uh, we were more than ready to greet some long-missed characters. We had tons of fun chatting with Mickey, Pluto, and Goofy as they danced and posed at uh, Meet Mickey Mouse in Fantasyland, just in front of the railroad station. We got to chat with the spooktacular Jack Skellington at Phantom Manor. Jack was feeling a bit out of place in the middle of summer with Halloween still four months away, but he assured us that every day is Halloween in Halloween Town. And we got some fun FaceTime with Chip and Dale and Clarice in their costumes from the Jungle Book live show. We stopped by the Animagique Theater, formerly home to Mickey and the Magician, where we chatted with Cinderella and her fairy godmother, who assured us that she could make our wishes come true. Mickey was also on stage in his costume from Mickey the Magician. Check out our videos for all these characters and all the interactions right here on our YouTube channel. Good news, Run Disney fans. It looks like the Walt Disney World Marathon Weekend may be returning for the 2022 season. Uh, Twitter user at Baztastic77 posted a screenshot from the Run Disney website showing dates and a registration time for the upcoming event. The event information has since been removed from the Run Disney website, but if the screenshot is correct, the event will be returning uh, January 6th through 12th. Registration will open on Tuesday, July 20th at 10 a.m. Eastern. Disney has not yet made an official announcement about the return of Run Disney events to the parks at this time. Uh, during the pandemic, Run Disney events have been virtual races only. Scentsy is entering a multi-year relationship with Walt Disney World Resort as the official home fragrance of the resort. The candle company has already uh, been making licensed Disney products for the past three years. Uh, though more details have not been announced, Scentsy will be working with Disney to bring to life a guest experience within Fantasyland at the Magic Kingdom, creating rich storytelling opportunities through fragrance. Walt Disney World cast members celebrated International Yoga Day this morning with a sunrise session in front of Cinderella Castle at Magic Kingdom. Uh, sunrise Yoga is a recurring event for cast members as part of a larger wellness program. Many cast members shared their photos on social media this morning, including Walt Disney Res Resort President Jeff Volley. A finalist for the next Walt Disney World Ambassadors also participated and spoke. One of the jewels from a piece of 50th anniversary bunting decoration on Cinderella Castle has fallen off. The jewel is missing from one of the turrets on the west side of Cinderella Castle. The broken decoration is visible when approaching the front of the castle. It was actually the first piece of bunting visible from Main Street USA. A circle remains where the jewel was previously adhered to the golden piece. Looks like, well, it looks like it was held on with a command strip. Uh, along with some maybe some other materials. This is the only decoration to have issues since they were completely installed. The jewel's fall was possibly due to adverse weather this past week, which also caused attractions to close. Hopefully, we don't see more of these supposedly weatherproof decorations broken before the world's most magical celebration actually begins. As work continues to bring cultural sensitivity to the Jungle Cruise, while the ride remains open, the new attraction elements are being added frequently. We recently showed you the sunken boat added to the hippo scene. Floating props have now been added uh, near or downstream of the sunken boat, 
A lifesaver has been added to the sunken boat while other debris floats nearby. A board floats on the starboard side. Steamer trunks litter the river. One reads, property of La Rosa. Uh, Rosa Soto Dominguez is one of the trapped safari characters, as you may know. The black trunk is marked Puffin, like Rosa Siobhan Puffin Murphy is part of the trapped safari scene. A barrel and wood plank are found near the large tarp. When the tarp is removed, it will likely reveal the wrecked boat scene with primates. If, like us, you are a foolish mortal with a penchant for ghoulish delights, you will be thrilled to find the interactive queue reopened at the Haunted Mansion in the Magic Kingdom. Over the weekend, we got our first look in a year at the supernatural scenery. Not all of the interactive elements are currently working, but we expect them to all hurry back. Also returning over the weekend was the classic stretching room pre-show for the Haunted Mansion. Uh, since reopening in July of 2020, the stretching room doors were left open and enacted as a section of the queue. So guests were still able to see the stretch portraits, uh, but they were... Uh, you know, told to walk straight through. Uh, now that physical distancing is gone, the famous scene has finally returned in all its glory. Though Disney has considered removing the potentially upsetting hanging corpse from the scene, it remains, uh, it remains for now. At Disneyland, the stretching room has remained in operation since reopening due to the nature of the building. Although with physical distancing as well as a secret entrance that allowed guests to skip the room instead. Watch a video of the stretching room scene right here on our YouTube channel. A video sent in by Instagram user at Alex64Gaming shows a guest jumping from the boat on Living with the Land to the greenhouse area. She appears to try to take a cucumber growing on a vine and then uh, appears to fall as she attempts to return to the boat. Uh, another guest then leaves the boat and tries to assist her. The caption on the video states, when getting off the ride to steal a cucumber goes wrong. User at Bismarck23 on Twitter replied to our story with another video. The user says, I had the luxury of sitting behind these morons. They actually jumped off the boat four different times during the ride. Interactive queues and areas have been reopening around Epcot over the last week, and we found that the popular vehicle design station inside Test Track in the main queue and exit have also reopened to guests, along with other inter interactive areas. Uh, guests will be delighted to once again be able to design their own vehicles and then put them to the test against other vehicles on the attraction. The design station is also now open at the exit of the attraction as well. Unfortunately, Apple Watch doesn't work with design stations yet, but... Hopefully, will in the near future as Disney continues to upgrade its use of technology. Uh, after our ride, we noticed everything was open on the way out of the attraction as well. Guests can once again race their custom designed cars on this virtual racetrack. Uh, both the commercial maker and score checker were up and ready for use. Unfortunately, the only portion that is still unavailable is the photo pass section. Hopefully, we will see this return soon too. Mulan has returned to the China Pavilion at Epcot after being gone for the past year, except for uh, a brief stint in the Princess Processional. Although physical distancing is mostly being removed from Walt Disney World, characters are still greeting guests from a distance for their safety. Mulan waved to guests from the bridge. Guests could get relatively close at the end of the bridge where she was happy to pose for photos. The fjording in Epcot's Norway Pavilion is undergoing renovation with a section of the store blocked off by stanchions. A section of the wall where the renovation is taking place has a scrim up in front of it, and we were a little worried about the whereabouts of our troll friend, but we found him nearby uh, in the fjording. He now sits next to some much smaller troll figures near one of the doors. The extent of the store's renovation is unknown at this time. After a year of physical distancing, things are returning to their pre-pandemic normal at Walt Disney World in Disney's Hollywood Studios. The pre-shows are once again operating at the Twilight Zone Tower of Terror and Rock and Roller Coaster. For the past year, guests have been directed straight through the pre-show rooms without stopping. Watch our videos on the of the returned pre-shows right here on our YouTube channel. Tusker House at Disney's Animal Kingdom has reopened for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. We sat down for the family-style breakfast and then later returned the same day for dinner. The restaurant was a uh, buffet pre-COVID. Mickey and friends also traversed the restaurant during all meal periods for distance meet and greets. Check out our full reviews for both breakfast and dinner on WDWNT.com. Another Maasai giraffe has been born at Disney's Animal Kingdom, which welcomed two Maasai giraffe calves last year. The calf was born on June 10th and is six feet tall and weighs 183 pounds. He has a unique butterfly marking on his right shoulder and heart-shaped markings throughout his coat. 
Uh, Mom Lily and her calf will join the herd on Kilimanjaro safaris in the upcoming weeks. A salt and straw ice cream shop is coming soon to Disney Springs at Walt Disney World. Salt and Straw hinted at the announcement yesterday and confirmed it in a press release today. Uh, salt and Straw has made a name for itself at Downtown Disney District and Disneyland Resort, where it opened in 2018. The ice cream shop will make a great addition to Disney Springs and help combat that Florida heat. Indiana Jones may not follow maps to find treasure, but you'll want to follow your map to Jock Lindsay's hangar bar at the landing in Disney Springs to try the new Bacon of Doom, a new twist on the popular Temple of Bacon. The Bacon of Doom comes with a shareable smoked cocktail. Bacon of Doom is thick-cut applewood smoked bacon dipped in the ganacheries milk chocolate and chipotle ganache served with choice of shareable smoked cocktail, either the trusty revolver or the snake bite margarita for $12. Head over to WDWNT.com for our full review. Beginning next week, two of Disney's Vacation Club resorts will be making refurbishments to their lobbies and porte cochet um, Disney's Saratoga Springs Resort and Spa and Disney's Old Key West Resort will both start refurbishments on June 28th. Once complete, both resorts will feature an enhanced check-in experience offering an open, free-flowing layout with a variety of smaller counters to help guests of all ages prepare for their Walt Disney World vacation. It's been a big week of changes at Disneyland Park. We've covered a lot of information and have photo tours of our findings available on dlnewstoday.com. Many attractions have resumed pre-pandemic operations with all physical distancing measures removed and pre-shows returning, including Space Mountain, Pirates of the Caribbean, Big Thunder Mountain Railroad, Haunted Mansion, Roger Rabbit's Cartoon Spin, It's a Small World, Frontierland Shootin' Exposition, Millennium Falcon Smuggler's Run, and Star Wars Rise of the Resistance at Disneyland Park and at California Adventure, Radiator Springs, uh, Web Slingers, a Spider-Man Adventure, and Credit Coaster, and Toy Story Midway Mania. Since Disneyland Resort reopened on April 30th, the themed thermal detonator Coca-Cola bottles have been missing from Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. You may remember that they were spotted by uh, the pallet full at a local grocer in Alabama last summer. Uh, today, we spotted their triumphant return to the Coca-Cola cart. The themed Coca-Cola stand uh, features its own red R2 unit droid. Uh, the themed bottles are available for Coke, Diet Coke, and Sprite. The labels are written in the Star Wars language, language of Arabesh. The magic is back at Disneyland, and so are the characters. Recently, we saw our old pal Stitch interacting with guests in Tomorrowland, while Pinocchio and Geppetto said hello in Fantasyland. Characters are still meeting with guests from afar, despite physical distancing requirements being lifted at the resort. Check out our video of these character interactions here on YouTube. Alien Pizza Planet has reopened its doors to guests at Disneyland. We stopped by to check out the scene. The quick service location was offering both mobile order and walk-up options for ordering food. It was a bit crowded when we stopped in. However, guests still appeared to be keeping a distance between themselves and others while waiting for food orders, even though physical distancing, again, has been discontinued at the resort. The Tomorrowland restaurant currently operates from 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. Plexiglass dividers are still in place between guests and cast members. Uh, guests can also once again fill beverage cups themselves without the assistance of a cast member. The merchandise kiosk at Le Petit Chalet in Fantasyland has reopened to guests at, at Disneyland. The shop offers a mix of prepackaged to-go snacks, apparel, accessories, and toys to choose from. We also found a new plush that has migrated its way over to the West Coast. Previously, we found Yeti Big Feet plush over at Disney's Animal Kingdom at Walt Disney World Resort, but in Disneyland, this is an abominable uh, or adorable snowman. They're available for $26.99 each. Streetmosphere is back at Disneyland Resort. While enjoying our stroll around Disney California Adventure, we came across a few of the lovely citizens of Buena Vista Street who were out interacting with guests once more. We caught Molly the Messenger and her pal uh, Fifi interacting with a young guest whose birthday is coming up in July. They were very excited for her. They are all smiles about returning to entertain us. At this time, the citizens were interacting with guests from behind a fenced-in area in front of the fountain. Most physical distancing measures have been removed from Disneyland again, but character interactions are still distanced. Again, check out our video right here on our YouTube channel. This week, the Oriental Land Company, owner and operator of Tokyo Disney Resort, announced plans to offer COVID-19 vaccines to all workers in the immediate future 
as Japan's effort to get the populace vaccinated continues to ramp up. As announced by the Oriental Land Company, uh, all approximately 20,000 cast members and full-time employees will be offered a chance to get their COVID-19 vaccine starting July 5th, no matter when they qualify in their place of residence. It is expected that they will be offered the Moderno vaccine, which is being distributed at mass vaccination sites around Japan. Uh, information on how appointments will be distributed was not made public. Although the state of emergency in Tokyo area is set to be lifted on June 21st, the Oriental Land Company announced the park hours cut implemented on May 17th will be extended once again through July 11th. Through July 11th, both Tokyo Disneyland and Tokyo Disney Sea will operate from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. Additionally, ticket sales through the 11th have been uh, halted to keep park capacity at or around 5,000 guests. Tickets were briefly resold from July 1st through 11th earlier this week under the assumption that capacity would increase and sold out to an unknown number on weekends. Additionally, park capacity from July 12th through August 11th will be capped at 10,000 guests. Alcohol sales will continue to be suspended through July 11th. Although new regulations will allow locations to sell alcohol to parties of no more than two for no longer than 90 minutes, the Oriental Land Company determined that it's impossible to de determine party size for sure at counter service locations. Uh, nightfall glow will not be held while hours are shortened. No other changes to entertainment have been announced. As Disney moves retail primarily to Shop Disney, classic Disney stores around the world have been closing Sadly, this now includes the original Disney store location in Glendale, California. The store's website now states it will be closed by July 14th of 2021. All Disney stores in the UK are also reportedly closing, except for the flagship location in London. We learned earlier this year that at least 20% of physical Disney stores would be closing and later learned that all Canadian locations would close. Reports indicate that many more stores beyond these original projections are closing worldwide, but Disney has yet to publicly state this. For more information on these stories and more, head on over to www.nt.com. This program is brought to you by our official travel agent sponsor, The Vacationeer, the engineers of your next magical vacation. Sit back and let their team of vacation planning experts craft your family's next magical Disney trip. The best part is that their services are free. Hotel, park tickets, fast passes, dining, and much more. Visit www.nt.travel for details. The Vacationeer, the official travel agency of WDWNT. If you're enjoying the show, be sure to like this video, subscribe to WDW News Today on YouTube for more great content, click the bell for notifications, and make sure to hit select all notifications so you never miss an episode of News Today with WDW News Today. For the worldwide leader in Disney Parks news, this is Eric Morton saying enjoy the rest of your today and have a great, big, beautiful tomorrow. Looking for the latest in Disney news on the go? Then download WDWNT the app. From news to videos to park hours and more, WDWNT the app is your one-stop shop for the latest from the Disney world. Available on iPhone and Android, just search for WDWNT in your device's app store.